Another day, another mind-blowing project from Generative AI. This new project, CAT3D, enables you to generate 3D scenes from any number of any type of images, which include generated or synthetic images from AI or your own real images. Just let it sink and you will be surprised or shocked that where we where this all is leading to because you can create your own 3d content 3d movies just with the help of your own images just few months back this was unthinkable let me play this video from the project page of cat 3d can you believe that this is just 3d images and just images and we have converted it to 3d just look at this leaning tower of pizza and all those objects this is insane literally crazy just pick any images from 30 years ago 40 years ago and create a 3d content amazing amazing stuff so this project is the combined collaboration of google deepmind Google research and equal contribution from various other people. So let me show you the interactive result. There you go. You see, this is just an image and it has converted into 3D scenes. And these are all um, Gaussian splats. And I think this is a good point where just allow me to explain what exactly is a Gaussian splat. A Gaussian splat is a representation of a 3D point or object as a Gaussian distribution. And Gaussian distribution is simply a probability distribution defined by a mean and variance in 3D space. Or in more simpler words, it is a way to describe a 3D point or object as a cloud of probability rather than a precise location. And you can just click on these images at the bottom and it is going to change it. So here the 3D scenes have been converted into Gaussian splat. So what it means is that we have represented each point or object in the scene as a Gaussian distribution. And you might do it for uh, to reduce the complexity of a point cloud by representing each point as a Gaussian distribution rather than as a precise location. Also, we are capturing the uncertainty or ambiguity in the scene by representing object or point as a probability distribution that improves the quality too. So the advantage of this is that now we are representing it as a more realistic and smooth render of the scene by using this Gaussian distribution to simulate the way light scatters and spread. And you see shadows and lights here. This is the beauty of Gaussian splat. Also, to represent these objects as probability distribution, it makes it really easier to recognize and track them in the scene. So all in all, when we say that we have converted these 3D scenes into Gaussian splat, it means that we are reducing the amount of data required to represent the scene. We are capturing ambiguity in the scene and we are improving rendering and visualization while enhancing object recognition and training. Um, and so all in all, you can see that these Gaussian splats are a powerful representation of 3D scenes and have applications in various fields. Um, and one of them is in front of you, courtesy Google DeepMind. So this CAT 3D is simply amazing. There are a lot of examples which you can check here on the project page. And I will be, of course, uh, putting the link to it in video description. Look at this um, Aurora Australis, amazing, amazing stuff. And then this one, and then this is a Dream Dreamer. There are a lot of examples there. On the right hand side is the Cat 3D. On the left hand side is you can select from Dream Dreamer, Zero NFS, Image Dream, and a lot of other examples. You can immediately tell the difference that right one cat 3d is in another league look at the image stream look at this image you see cat 3d is 
definitely in another league look at just focus on the back of the images you see how good cat 3d is in terms of all attention to detail and if you look at the architecture of this model that is another thing to behold so for example if you look at this diagram this is where cat 3d is using a multi-view latent diffusion model to generate new views of the scene this model can be conditioned on any number of observed views which means <clears throat> input images with corresponding camera poses embedded as ray coordinates and is also trained to produce multiple consistent new images of the scene at specified target viewpoints this architecture is similar to video diffusion model but with camera pose embeddings for each image instead of time embedding the generated views are passed into a robust 3D reconstruction pipeline to create that 3D representation in different formats. So amazing, amazing stuff. Really hats off to all of these researchers, which I showed you at the first page here. I think they have done a wonderful job there. So uh, I will drop the link to this paper in video description. Go through it and let me know what do you think. Thanks for watching.